But we gotta say, who knew that Luke Skywalker was so dark and sinister? What is it about Mark, Mark Hamill's version of Chucky that just makes this so much more frightening? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, he has a lot of experience with uh, voice acting in the past. He also played the Joker, which I was a big fan of, so I think he brings a lot to it. Yeah, and I think, he well, he just sounds so friendly. Yeah. Um, but you know that he's evil, so there's the combination is terrifying. Yeah, there's both innocence and evil. Yes. <laughs> now, there's been uh, Chucky basically for every decade that since 1988 when Chucky first came about. So what... What kind of kept him alive? What kind of made people invested in him to want to keep seeing this murderous doll come alive? I don't know. I think it, it's just such an iconic character, and I think a lot of people, at least in my family, a lot of people were exposed to Chucky at a very at a too young age. Yeah. Um, so it, I think it was very traumatizing for people. It like stuck in your in your mind because I think as a child a doll uh, coming to life and trying to kill you is probably like one of the most terrifying thoughts you can think of. Um, so I think it just stuck with people. It's like that classic childhood trauma. Now how old were you when you first got to know Chucky? Uh, I was actually 13. It was when I first got the sights. Uh, but I would, I've <laughs> always been familiar with it because a lot of my family was a big fan of the original. Now this Chucky version, you actually have an animatronic doll that's on set talking to you, standing right there. Right. What was it like to kind of actually have that instead of like a tennis ball right. Chucky doll? Yeah, it was really helpful because it's always better to play off of someone or something rather than just like a piece of tape. Um, and we actually had someone reading on set, so it definitely helped a lot. It uh, brought a creepiness to it on set. I feel like if I was in charge of the puppeteering of that thing, I would just mess with everyone on set. Was there anything like that on set? Um, y yes. Yes. But mostly from the cast, not really from the puppeteers. <laughs> what were yeah. you guys doing? Well, we, we had like a prank war going on on set, so we would use any prop we could, including some of the Chucky dolls. Yeah, we were trying to scare each other pretty yeah. much on, on the reg. Um, but what, at one point, Chucky, um, the Chucky animatronic doll, um, uh, was set on fire. Um, that yeah. was interesting. Smoke started coming out of its head, and um, everyone had to stay back and um, go in the other room. And that was a really terrifying sight to see Chucky's head going up in a plume of smoke. What makes it more terrifying to have him digital? I mean, now he's connected to the cloud. I think it's just so relevant now because there's technology all around us, and we put so much trust into it that if it fired back, there's nothing we can really do. Yeah, it's just so relatable. Everyone's talking to their speakers and their screens, and it's just the worst case scenario. It's where we're headed. Oh, yeah, I hope not. Not murderous dolls. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is.